we're on our new unit, which is unit 11. So we're going to be starting with data. So we've already done this one in class. So we're going to head on to number seven. So we have how many people ran the 100 meter sprint? Well, remember, we are in my class saying every dot and what it represents. So here we have this dot represents people. Oops, that's a nice big one. Let me change that back. So these dots are people or a person. So every dot is a person. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So that means there's twenty people who ran. So I need to put that label of people on as well. So now I'm just going to erase all of those. And now we'll continue. Which time was the most common? So most common means which one had the most dots. And I look, this one's the most common because it's the tallest. So that is equal to this time of 10 and 4 tenths. And I want to use that label of seconds. So 10 and 4 tenths seconds is the most common for 100 meters sprint. Which one's an outlier? Remember, an outlier is which one is farthest away from the other or not with the others. And I see it's this 11. So my outlier is the 11 seconds. This person was a little bit slower than our others. Our next one says, how many more people? So that more people means it's a subtraction. I'm comparing two things. Just like if I have four groups over here and two over here, if I said how many more, that would be four minus two is two. Here, that how many more is a subtraction problem. So how many more people ran the 100 meters in 10 and 6 tenths? Then 10 and 1 tenth. Well, here I have a group of 3 minus a group of 1, so it's 2. So we have 2 people. Our next one says, Curtis said more than half of the people ran 100 meters in less than four or 10 and 4 tenths of a second. Do you agree? So we have half of 20 is 10. Remember, there's 20 people over here. So half of 20 would be 10. And he's saying less than. So he's looking at these people right here. So let's check what we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's only 8 people ran that. So our answer is going to be no. We do not agree. And why? So that explanation, only 8 people ran less than 10 and 4 tenths. And sorry, that's the sloppy one. I'm at the bottom of my screen. Only eight people ran less than 10 and 4 tenths of a second. And half of 20 would need to be at least 10. Okay, so on to our next one. Here we have Mr. Dixon record the time it, it took students in his class to complete a project. How much time was most often needed to complete the project? Well, here I want to use my label. So what is a dot? So a dot is a person or a student. Either one would be acceptable. Okay, so which one was the most common or the most often? Well, I look and I see it's two hours and two-fourths. So I'm going to put two and two-fourths with that label of hours. Okay, my next one is how many students are in this class? Well, each dot is a student, so let's check. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. And since my screen just disappeared, I'm going to check one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there are thirteen students. Okay, my next one is our number sense, number 14. George, or Jorge, collects sports cards. He displays his cards in an album. There are 72 pages in the album. Each page holds nine cards. Okay, then it says, find the number of cards in the album. Half of the pages are full, the rest are empty. Well, first, let's see how many cards, or how many pages we have. So we have nine divided by, or 72 divided by nine, which is eight. So that means what? That means we have eight pages that have cards. And now it says half of the pages are full and half are empty. So that's being broken up into two groups. Half are full, half are empty, 
and we know there's eight pages that are full, so that means there's eight that are empty. So together, that is 16. So how many pages are there? Oops, see, Mr. Emily did that wrong because I was listening to my dog bark, so I'm sorry, guys. I did not read my question correctly. There's 72 pages in the album. Each page holds nine cards. So we have 72, each holds nine. Half of the page, oops, half of the pages have cards in them. So we have that 72, we need to break that 72 up in half. So that is going to be three. Subtract, bring down six. So we have 36 pages have cards in them. So each page has nine cards. So that's nine times 36. So that's a four, regroup the five. Nine times three is 27, plus five is what? That is 32. So he has this many cards, 324 cards. Okay, Bob lists the weights of his friends. They were 87, 98, 89, 61, 93. Bob said there are no outliers. Is he correct? Well, let's check. So we're looking at, are there any that are not too close together? So on a number line, we would have what? Well, let's start with 60. Then we would have 70, 80, 90, and 100. So let's just roughly plot them. 87 would be between 80 and 90. 98 would be close to 100. 89 is a little bit closer to 90. 61 is over by 60. And 93 is close to 90. So let's check. Well, I see this one right here. So 61 is an outlier. And why? Well, it's an outlier because... So let's get rid of that right there. 61 is an outlier because it is far away from the other data points, from the other data. Okay, so now on to our question 16. So I'm going to use this over here. So what is this? Well, remember I'm going to say each dot. He's telling me each dot right here is one nail. So each dot is a nail in a toolbox. Which is an outlier? So I'm looking for which one is not close to an outlier, or is not close to the other. Well, I see all of these dots are close to each other, so there actually is no outlier for this one. They're all close to each other. They're not far away from each other. Which one is the most common? So which one has the most dots? Well, that is this middle one right here, one and two fours, which is C.